cookery! When was the last time you had a beautiful sweet potato Waldorf salad? When was the last time you had a fucking Waldorf salad? I don't know. I don't think I've ever even had a Waldorf salad. So who knows? But today on Waldorf Salad History Month, wait, today's the day. This is Gonzo. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. Cause guess what I got? <laughs> Three hundred and sixty-eight pages of pure, beautiful recipes of home cookery, and within that, we got the beautiful Waldorf sweet potato salad. This dish came to me in a whirlwind storm of classics, smashing waves of sweet potato dreams. Of course, the texture of the baked, sweet, and caramelized potato pairs perfectly with the blue cheese, the breadcrumbs, the tarragon, and anise rounds out all of the flavors. Then. You have to go over the top with the warm maple vinaigrette. This dish is a must in the winter season for dinner parties that will bring your mouth and soul back to the 1920s where the Waldorf belongs. This is us, we're taking it to the next level, okay? We're gonna take it to the next, I don't even know if we're gonna take it to the next level. We're just gonna take it to this level, okay? So I started doing, I made breadcrumbs, I was making croutons, and I forgot we were shooting a friggin' show, and I don't got any more bread. So guess what, everybody? Welcome to Homestyle Cookery, and we already have some croutons in the oven. You just put a little bit of olive oil, you put a little salt and pepper on them, you were gonna roast them at, uh, you know, uh, 375 until golden brown. We're gonna take those out and then we're gonna pulse them. We're gonna make some breadcrumbs to go with our sweet potato Waldorf salad. We got some beautiful. Ah! We got this. It's just a beautiful uh, crouton. We just wanted to heat that up and I want to blitz this to make a beautiful little, a little crouton, a little texture to our Waldorf. Perfect. Olive oily, salty croutons into beautiful fresh breadcrumb? I think so! And that's how you make breadcrumbs. I have some beautiful sweet potatoes that we roasted off. Oh, check this out. We're gonna peel back our sweet potato. Look at this. This is what I love. This is what I love. Oh, 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 beautiful. Little, mm. let's take that off. You roast your sweet potatoes. You don't have to stick forks in them or anything like that. I never like to stick forks in them because the skin will puff up from the heat and steam and all those natural sugars caramelize. You get these beautiful dark spots. Mm. You can bake those in an oven at, you know, 350, 425, whatever temperature you really want. It doesn't really matter. You're still gonna roast them. You wanna just be able to stick a fork in them and as soon as they're soft, you pull them out, they're gonna steam and, and just get beautiful. You'll be able to peel that skin off beautifully and you have these beautiful, succulent, rich, sweet, baked sweet potatoes. And now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna slice up some grapes, then we're gonna make a warm maple vinaigrette. So we just slice up the grapes. We're gonna bubble up some butter. So take two big tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons maple syrup. So we're just gonna froth up, boil up the maple syrup, the butter, it'll emulsify into itself. So once we get it frothing, hit it with some lemon juice. We can just turn the heat right off and we're gonna add just a little bit of salt to it. That lemon juice, maple, butter, just a little bit of salt. This is a beautiful little vinaigrette. Some people would put nuts. You know what? I don't like nuts. I'm not a huge nut fan, okay? I'm not a huge nut fan. So I didn't want to put nuts in this because I was ah! Probably could have done some research on an actual Waldorf salad. I'm gonna take two spoons. Here we go. Yeah, watch how easy this is gonna be. Look how easy this is, okay? You just take two forks, two spoons, whatever you want. Push it around. Very easy to do. And now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna plate it, watch this. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of vinaigrette. Oof, 
We're gonna do a little bit of the drizzle, get that baseline real, really pumping. Hit it with a little bit of salt, a little fresh cracked pepper. We got some beautiful Roquefort cheese. Whatever is your favorite kind of blue cheese. And if you don't like blue cheese, you can use like a camembert, or you can use a real pal, or like a triple cream. Then we're gonna just take our sliced grapes. We're just gonna let these drop down. Then we're gonna take our little breadcrumbs and just kind of do a little dusting here, there, little pockets. And then we have our beautiful tarragon leaves. And you just pick these. See, this thing is so easy. And this goes, this can feed like six people. If you're making this as a side, or once again, if you're doing this just for you, you want to smash this to the face? I want to hit it with like just one more like little drizz, a little lemon. It's a pretty rich dish. Oh. You guys never see me do this stuff because I never, I always gotta do the big way, bam, bam, bam. You know, I can make just little cute salads, little delicious, precious little salads. I love them. Vegetarians, let's go. Beautiful vegetarian dish. Well, not, yeah, sure. Vegetables. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of butter. Eh, you don't have to use it. You can use it. It's up to you. I get to try this now. The sweet potato Waldorf. Look at this. Wow, I'm telling you something, this is fantastic. You serve this to anybody, you know what they're gonna say? Where did you get that recipe? This is fantastic. This idiot I watch on YouTube wrote this another New York Times bestselling book. Well, holy cow, that's an excellent recipe. Can I get it? Yeah, you can buy it over here. And, he's, and you go to the link and you buy it, okay? That's what's gonna happen. It seems to me, I literally can't cook anything that tastes like dog shit. I'm Maddie Matheson, and you can pre-order my book right now, Homestyle Cookery. Comes out September 29th, link in the bio. You guys have a great day, okay? Let's go.